Alright, so it's the winter time, it is cold out here, it is freezing, but it hasn't been so bad. We only had a couple of days where it was break, like the day before Christmas. However, it has not been as bad. Some days, I'm still wearing my Birkenstocks, aka Birkies. <laughs> when it comes to the cold season, one thing that I look forward to is wearing my wool coat. A nice wool coat with your outfit, and your outfit could be plain. It been times I wore joggers and leggings, but you wear that and you wear a nice beautiful chic wool coat it just bring your outfit all together it gives you such a classy look it, look it gives you such an effortless look it gives you such a chic look like everybody male and female need a wool coat in their closet you just need you need one if if not one i mean four would be better so you could you know interchange but if not have at least two at least two one casual and one classy one me personally i have Two of each right so i have two casual wool coats which is the black and white one that you see and the, um the black one that you see i love those two coats first of all i think everybody need a black wool coat in your closet and everybody need a camel coat in your closet i currently do have a camel ralph lauren wool coat however it's not my favorite i thrifted it years ago i don't really like how it fits because it's a little bit too big but I'm definitely on the hunt for a better camel coat and probably give that one away or sell it. But you need a camel coat one, a black one, and um, a nice stylish one, like the black and white one that I have. I got this from Express, and it, it has the hourglass shape. It is so beautiful, like, oh my goodness. And then you need two, or I have two, it would be great if you have two, dressy ones, like this taupe one that I have and this red, bright red one that I also have. That taupe one is just so chic. The, the, the cuts is so clean. Like the lines is just perfect. Like it has a little drop shoulder. It's so cute as, as compared to the casual express one, the black white one that have a shoulder pad structure shoulder. This one have a drop shoulder so you can hang it over your shoulder. You can actually wear it. Um, it's oversized. So you can wear, I think over wearing um, a nice form fitting dress outfit with the oversized coat is so beautiful um the color is gorgeous because and it could go with so many things because it's kind of a neutral color um black cream beige white yellow green name it it could go with so many different colors in your closet so i definitely suggest getting a nice clean line um classy going out wool coat as well and then i have this bright red one it's like a reddish blue undertone wool coat this was actually thr thrifted years ago i probably oh, I, can't, I think i got for like 35 dollars real wool, wool that red is just look at me and as a nice chocolate woman that color against my skin tone is out of this world it is bananas even a all black black outfit with that coat on yeah I think my next outfit will be an all black outfit with that red coat and the red bean that I have. It's just, it's going to be so fire, right? No, I mean, I'm not saying we all need a red coat in now because it's such a vibrant color. We need a red coat in our closet, but a nice colored coat outside of the neutrals will be a staple because now that when you're getting dressed, those will be the, that will be the coat that you pull out. So around Valentine's Day, I always wear that coat. When I'm going somewhere special, a nice fancy dinner and it's, it's the winter time, I always reach for that coat because it's a dressy, you know, yeah, I came to start a coat. Love that coat. And it was, it's probably, it is the cheapest coat out of all of my, um, all of my coat collections. That just goes to show you sometimes you don't have to spend so much money to get a really beautiful coat. And one thing about wool coats, my joint have to be wool. I love wool coat. In the past, I've bought cheaper versions or cheaper material ones that had polyester or a little bit of spandex or whatnot and you know what it doesn't keep me warm i still have to layer a lot of clothes to make it work and it's i think it's such a waste i mean granted i still have to layer but there is something about a real authentic 100 percent wool if not 98 percent wool and 
two percent elastin or you know something else but it being predominantly polyester is just you could tell the difference you could tell the difference in the texture you could tell the difference in the look you could tell the difference in just how it falls on the body and how it just complements your skin your body and just your whole fit so i always suggest like going for a hundred percent wool um instead of a polyester or whatever case 50 percent polyester and honestly forget the brand sometimes i've seen designer brands sell wool coats and you look at it it's just like oh 50 percent polyester 50 percent wool so if i'm paying matt all this money why am i paying all why am i paying all this money for something that's 50 percent when i can go to h&m or h&m studio or zara and get 98 percent wool with like two percent um, polyester or lasting i'd rather that and it's cheaper right so i always i'm the type of person you see me in the store looking at the tag so you're charging me what two hundred dollars hmm let's see what material you use okay two hundred dollars but it says 80 percent polyester 20 percent no oh you're charging 150 oh and it says 98 percent oh two percent let's go you get what I'm saying? So I'm that person that look at the tag to see what material you use because sometimes you just pay for the name. And places that I love buying wool coats is Zara. For many, many years, Zara's been killing it with the wool coats. I honestly think back in the day, Zara, Zara's wool coats were beautiful. The quality was stupid. The designs were just crazy. The silhouettes were amazing. They've fallen off a little bit. You really have to search um, nowadays to find that wool coat that's just like, whoa, this is amazing. But before, it's like almost every coat or every other coat was like, take your breath away. Like, you know, but it's not like that anymore. It's only a select few because they do a lot of a lot of oversized wool coats, which is cool. I get it. That's what's on trend. But sometimes I want that fitted silhouette. I want that fitted coat that, you know, that, that nice chic coat that we used to get back in the day. Um, so... But I love getting my wool coats from Zara because they make some really good wool coats with really beautiful silhouettes. So that's one main place I use. Um, I get my wool coats for. I think two of my coats are from Zara, and um, other two is from H and M. No, that's not wool coat. Two of my wool coats are from Zara, and you have the one from Express, and the one I told you, the other ones are thrifted. Also, the thrift store is another place to get a beautiful wool coat. Um, you have to search. You have to clean because sometimes because it's wool, it can hold in scent. So I'm not, I'm not always, it, the thrift store is not always a place I go to look for wool coats. Even though you can find some really beautiful ones because sometimes the smell just throw me off. But you can always take it to a dry cleaner's or you can get wool light and clean it yourself. Okay. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. That's a thing. Um, So you can do that. Or H&M. H&M makes some beautiful wool coats as well. I haven't been or shopped H&M in about probably three years but when I did I know that they made some really beautiful wool coats if you don't like regular H&M there's H&M studio a lot of people don't know about that but that's like their higher end items you know so this will go for like two or three hundred dollars but you know they gain great quality and plus they always have sales so cash on sale and speaking of Zara actually there is a coat that they have right now on their website it's part of a new collection that I love hopefully I can pull it up and show you it is so beautiful. It is orange, like a bright tomato red or like a, no, actually it's not tomato red. It leans more, it's more orange and it's so gorgeous. And I want it. I want it. I want it. I want it. Beautiful, bold color. And I'm going to wait for, until go, for it to go on sale, like during, before summertime is over. That's how I shop. So, because it's like two, almost $300. I'm not paying for that. So, I'm going to wait for it to go on sale and that I'm going to cop it. Um, another color wool coat that I want is a nice forest green wool coat. I think it's three wool coats. The orange one down one, a nice forest green, forest green wool coat, and I could go for a nice cobalt blue wool coat because I love cobalt blue on my skin tone. Um, and I think I'll be satisfied. Oh, and the camo one, but we could take our time with that one because I already have one, all right? So, yeah, those are the, um, my suggestions for where to go uh, for wool coats and how to pick a coat. So I hope you guys enjoyed these suggestions of wool coats, where to get it, how to pick it, how to style it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you are, you guys have a great um, week and a great weekend. Whenever you're watching this, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on IG. Um, I'm very active on there, especially in my stories. Um, let's chat if there's a favorite coat or place or store that 
have great wool coats or you guys like to buy wool coats from please let me know um because and it's good on the wallet and good all right with the price please let me know because i'm always here for trying to save some coins right because inflation so thank you for watching enjoy can't wait to see you next week sunday can't wait to speak to you okay bye